Hello guys, we're back today with the uh, my Josh Mason and the UCLA Bruins uh, Road to Glory. We're getting into the first game of the year against the Rice Owls. So we're going to get into this intro for Rice as we're away at our first game. But also remember that Josh Mason is third on the depth chart at UCLA. So he's going to have a lot of work to do. And I'm, we're not expecting him to start this year. But, uh... You know, maybe secure the second string spot, and if he can, he will start next year anyway if he can get to the second string. Because the starter is a senior. But we're about to go from, like, half of the freshman year in this episode. And he really was not moving up much. You see, Rice is getting ready. Let's see if they can handle us in the game. Because we're going to start to, the simulation is we're sitting on the bench with the, in the quarterback on the bench with the headphones is... UCLA takes the 14-0 lead. And Rice can't do anything. Let's go 14-0, 14-0. Josh Mason getting kind of bored here. 17-0, 17-7, 17-10. 20-10, 20-17. But we do win at 20-17. So at practice, Josh Mason has to make the most of it. And you're only going to see one or two plays from each practice. Uh, you see two in this practice. Is a juke around a defender and hits it off Jones. Actually, you're going to see through, but he got sacked in this one. So he gets some good XP. And our second game is now against number like 17th ranked Nebraska. First home game, so UCLA is coming out of their tunnel. We see number 11. That's not Josh Mason. He's number 10. There's a big difference. Nobody's wearing number 10 jerseys yet, but I'm sure they all will be by the senior year. And he's a Heisman Trophy winner. So you see everybody pretty much... Uh, UCLA team, and there's Josh Mason, Josh Mason, and the one thing about Road to Glory every year is, you see Mason, um, that even though you're not the string quarterback, you're still pumping him up, so, but hey, that's his job, he's ready to go, he's pumping these guys up, and that's how it's gonna work, but they're gonna try and play Nebraska, and they keep it 0-0 for the longest time, and then 10-0, 17-0, and 24-0, and it's turned into a game, uh, absolute madhouse in the route is on 38-0, 45-0, 45-0, and 45-0 would be, not be the final score, it would be 48-7, to so we got crushed, and Josh Mason really wants to secure a spot, there though, he's doing some good job, and that's really a highlight, and now they have the Houston Cougars coming into town, so they'll come out and you know, just, I'm not going to show the whole intro because we've seen it before. So you see the players getting ready and to simulate against Houston. As UCLA goes up 7-0, so we're 1-1 one one on the year. 14-0, 14-7, try and beat Houston here. 14-14, Josh Mason really wishing he could get into the game, you know. Just, you know, get a few snaps, you know, come on coach, let me in, you know, I can, I can win this game easy. 21-14. Which would end up being the final, as he always, if you notice, gets 100 points for showing up. To the, just showing up for the games. It's the same as last year, and there is nice passes. And you see some XP coming up, and we're playing the Oregon State Beavers this week. So, at home again, so let's get to the semi. As UCLA goes up 7-0, Oregon State can't do anything. UCLA remains a 7-0 lead until the finally Oregon State takes a lead, but at halftime the score is tight 14 all and 21-14 Oregon State putting up competition 21-21. And UCLA takes a 24-21 lead and they end the game 27-21. So I believe we are what does that make us three and one right now? So Josh Mason doing uh doing an okay job in practice, rolling out here, trying to show that he can throw on the move. And after again, I would have loved to get that polarity one, but we're playing Colorado this week. And you're going to see Colorado's thing, and that's pretty awesome. Um, I would have loved, you know, polarity. It was like plus 19 career boost everything, but it was a 30-something thousand. But anyway, you see Colorado, they're getting ready to come on the field. This is going to be the last game of the episode. And we are 3-1. and one. The 3-1 and one you see the like, It's against the 2-2, two and two, uh... Colorado Buffaloes, you see him bringing the buffalo out, cheerleaders doing their flips, and yeah, you see the buffalo again with the cowboys, and there I like the guy, there is the guy, he trips up, and there's Chip doing his dance, like, let's get this going, 
Well, the only thing going for UCLA is a deficit. Oh, well, hang on a second, Colorado. This game's not over, because Col all that's going for Colorado right now is the game that's kind of close. 17-7, 17-14, Colorado. Let's get this on. Well, Colorado is losing, so Chip, you probably shouldn't have said that, as they win at 31-21. And actually, there is one more game in this thing, because I said half the year about, and actually exactly six games. So we're 4-1, and, and we're going in to play Cal. UCLA versus Cal, it's not too big of a, not as big of a matchup as you think, Cal fans are pumped, like, let's get this started today, and, well, let's see what we can start, some more mayhem maybe for Cal, and Cal says, no, we're going to start 3-0, to zero. and then is like, yeah, see, that doesn't exactly fly with us. So you see us start scoring and Cal coming back and Cal take a lead before we take the lead back and then boom, finish it. But I'll see you guys in the next video.